Okay, this is a really awesome map project. We'll be outside and each kid will get a set of these that I'll cut out ahead of time. And I will reuse to the classes. So each kid is going to have to figure out what goes where. Uh, I don't remember. Europe kind of fits in there. Asia, that. Australia. Antarctica kind of fits in right there. After that, if it's windy, then we're going to set this down. Just to kind of put some rocks on it. We will be outside. Each kid will have a clipboard. That clipboard will have a map on it. They can use it for this project. Also, that clipboard will have a word search on the back or um, something more challenging if you'd like. Because they're going to have to wait. They're going to have to wait their turn. When they finish, we'll have two adults, maybe more, if you have more adults, who can walk around to and um, help them with the break. Okay, now when it's each kid's turn, and again, they just have to wait. They'll wait their turn. Uh, we'll have a couple colors and then help the kids. You can do it if you don't trust them. And they can be pretty fast, pretty simple. Uh, I think they'll so, really like it. It's not going to be perfect, but I want to get it kind of dark. And yeah, it spray paints the rock, so we're going to reuse the rock. Okay. And we're done. Only took a couple minutes. Um, the kids will go back inside, and I could clean that up. It will take a little while, but when it's done, it should look pretty cool. We'll see. There's Australia right there. Take off these rocks and use them another day. You can see that. Got Europe and Asia. <coughs> and this will be cool because everyone can have a different color. Then it's up to you what you do. You could do this the next day, let these dry. Um, you could do, you know, 10 minutes of labeling. You could put stickers down here, and you could label the oceans. The next part's really up to you, and you don't necessarily need me for the next part. Uh, here's the finished piece, and I think it was uh, really fun.